Chapter 8 The War of Blood Years before the Black Witch had built the evil well, the Levithions roamed the empty hills of the peaceful mountain. Generations came to pass with incest, breeding, and a dark sexual appetite for rape and for dominance. Hundreds of thousands of children were born out of this unnatural lifestyle. Most were born with physical complications or birth defects, and countless miscarriages had spread across the mountain. These children were gathered and put in an abandoned old church to keep them separated from the adults. The number of children grew daily. Locked in this dark church for years, they had plenty of food and water that was supplied by the adults. The church looked as if it were never occupied. Cobwebs drape over the entire ceiling. Chairs and pews were thrown upside down. Shadows came out from the walls, and a silent threat became to brew. A large empty cross had been pushed over and broken in many places. These hurt, lonely children loved their parents, but after all those years of neglect, anger and hate began to control the minds of each one of them. Every night they would hear desperate voices from the shadows that wouldn't leave them alone. The oldest boy, who had been there the longest, would chase these shadows around the church to find where they were coming from. He would listen closely to each word they mumbled. They called him by his name. All the children would hear this. Joseph, come closer and listen. The voice begged for weeks, wanting Needing answers, Joseph was finally ready. At the foot of the fallen cross, he noticed a small red spider waiting for him. Somehow, the spider spoke calmly and with high importance. It told him a story of great power that will change the world forever. Joseph's heart began to beat out of his chest as the spider continued. I was created a million years ago. I have taken on the forms of almost anything imaginable. I am not cursed, though I have cursed many. Gifted with the supernatural, I can make all things happen. You children have been locked away in my sanctuary. Your parents left you here to live their lives in one endless foul orgy of darkness. I have a curse that would help you all. Let me show you my power. Let us become one. Joseph knew that this must have been a dream, but a real dream that was trying to help him. The next morning, the children awoke to a peaceful atmosphere, but crying and moaning, they realized their faces were gone. All of them, just gray eyes sunk into their tiny skulls. They heard horrific noises coming from outside the church walls. Crowding the windows to see the commotion, Joseph was the first one to witness. The adults were on the ground scratching at their skin. Their flesh began to boil like being cooked by the morning sun. Blood exploding into thick pus dripped from their eyes and ears. 
agony became the only sensation leading to the death of every last adult. The more they all bled into the ground of the mountain, the darker the stains of red had become. Tangible and visible, the mountain became the Red Mountain. Joseph looked on with satisfaction in his eyes, but a deep sadness fell over the children. They had become the curse. From the fall of the parents until the end of time, they were called the Children of Mourning, and they will forever be in deep mourning.